This is what everyone has always wanted to know, including me. This is what's left of the tree. So as you can see, I'm tossing a few items here and there in there to uh, burn. But the big question that plagues everyone on earth is what is inside a 15 pound weighted blanket. I want to know, and so does everyone else. In the meantime, there's two animals killing each other. Okay, where were we? Oh, I know what I gotta do. I gotta hang it up to get a good spot where we can see everything come out. Other than suffocating you, one of the biggest problems with these things is everything falls down in the bottom and wads up. And I can't even figure out where the blanket begins and the other stuff ends. I bought a box of baby food the other day, a big, big box of baby food. And uh, like Cracker Jacks, they come with a prize, the Gerber knife. So I was pretty excited about that. So here we go. Let's see. What is inside? It's a mosquito. Okay, we got hung. Hang on. It's not over. A lot of people don't believe that you really do get prizes in. Okay, there's the innards right there. Oh, it's all zipped up. Hold on, let me get you situated. Just for a minute till I get a plan. So the first thing inside one of these is that. I hear a wasp. Okay, let's focus. Focus, people. I don't know what that string is right there. Okay, watch out, little kitten. Wow, there's another layer. Hang on. Okay, there's something dumping out. The salt. What is that? Am I gonna regret this? That is so satisfying. What is it? So now what we've gotta do is dump it all out in something and see how much there is. Okay, I figured out where everything shifts inside. There's nothing but a few measly strings holding this thing in place. It's what it appears to be. That is the cover. So, now I want to know how many pounds of salt are in here. Oh, there's a zipper. This thing may have come with instructions. Instructions for destruction. Okay, there's the gut sack right there. We've just skinned it. That's a cat. Okay, it's time to get serious. I think I have realized that every piece is each square has a little bit of whatever that is in there. So we're gonna have to figure out how to do this. Okay, so let's start with, yeah, I've already ripped that open. So what I'm gonna do is take it like this, and we're gonna empty it one square at a time <laughs> and see what we get. Y'all ready for this? Bam, 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 bam. I wonder what that is. 
Here, read this. 93% glass beads. 7% polyester fiber. So how much glass is in a, I believe this is a 15 pound bag. Boy, you get this stuff in your eye, you're gonna cry. That's all of it from there. So, second section. Then you gotta ask yourself, what are you gonna do? How's my view? Check the camera, my child. Good. What are you gonna do with 15 pounds of glass beads? Besides, hope you don't get them in your eye. I was gonna put them in a bucket. Yeah, that'd be cool if you put it in a bucket. They'd be cool to like fill. Oh, wow. Here's Phil. Okay, let's get all of that. Okay. Yeah, we should put it in a bucket. Let's do the next one. But it's coming out of these holes. I know what everybody's thinking. Man, you don't have time lapse on that thing? Well, who needs time lapse? I'll tell you what I need is a good box knife. I think I'm about to go get one. But let's finish this row first. There's still a lot more here. There's lots more. I know I gotta pick it up and shake it. Oh. I got an idea. They did not work well at all. So, we're gonna have to do this one at a time. We're almost done though. One of the problems is there is a hole in the bucket, a couple of holes, which is really not a big deal, unless it's a big deal to you. It's not a big deal to me. So that's what we got so far. Okay, I'm not done. Don't go away yet. I know you want to know how much. Oh, you're fast forwarding. I know what you're doing. This thing is heavy. Okay, next. Right here. I know what. You get on that side and hold it up. Like I'm doing. There you go. Okay, never mind. You can let it down. See, that's not working. I tried that. It's not working because your arms are from the camera. Right. Oh, I missed the spot. This is not good. Okay, you get the picture. I'm going to cut all these open. Okay, I decided not to do it that way. So you're just going to have to endure the punishment of watching the cut. Like this sharp pair of scissors would be really nice. I believe these are creek scissors. What does that mean? I found them in a creek. Oh. I could be wrong. I guess the extra insulation in there Increases the R factor. We have one. I don't know how many squares we have left. I know what you're asking yourself. Oh, a lot. There's a lot left? A lot left. You're asking yourself, am I really watching this guy do this? This is going to be a big box. I'm probably going to fill up the dot here. No, I don't I don't think it's gonna look much different than it is right now. When we get done. Let's see how much is left. Let me move around. How much banky is left? Oh my goodness. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight left, and we're about that deep.
me off spring has gone to get a better pair of scissors. So, yes, you do pronounce all the letters in that word, in case you're curious. So I want to know something. Has anyone else ever wondered what's inside one of these, or did you know that it was beads, glass beads, without watching this video? Don't act like you knew it, and you haven't ever wanted to do this. What I don't understand is how this whole wadded up thing went to one spot. It all went to one corner of the bed. Oh, this is killing me. Let's see these. Huh. Penny scars. Oh my goodness, it's so much better. It is so ergonomically, ergonomically correct. I was gonna have to have an industrial hygienist come over here and show me how to do this. Whoa, there's something weird in there. Oh. Oh, they didn't fall. How's that possible? Oh, we got dust. That's something. fiberglass. Okay, here we go. Round 57. We're gonna jam now. Oh, yeah, it's falling now. I want you to bring it over the edge. Okay, take it from the side. Okay. You can have the next one. Oh yeah, we're jamming. This is really good for scissors. I can tell by the way it's crunching. Okay, it's all you. I still feel the heavy in here though. Okay, scissors, it's all you. Okay, so you gotta bring it. Like this, up and over, and get to the next row, and then it all falls. See, because from this seam down is where it's falling. Oh, yeah. It's intensely satisfying, isn't it, there, my child? Yes, Daddy, it's fun. What happened? Uh, scissors. They teach you how to use them in school. Oh, yeah. You know what the problem is? You know what the problem is? No. Your mom. Are you going to cut or are you going to continue? Are you got a boo-boo? Okay. I'll finish. If you pull down with the left like this, it puts a little more tension on there. I think I just choked on a glass bead. There's an animal. Okay, let's finish. We're almost done. Hold on, he can't get in there. No, shut off. Here, I can, can do that too. Yes, you gotta cut fast. You can hear it crunch. Crunches. You gotta stay above the line there. I heard people are getting impatient. Wow. They're lower towards the line, or you're gonna have it all in here. Oh wow, that's here. You got it. It's a lot oh. harder than it looks. <laughs> Another jar thinking. Okay, you gently turn it side to side and drop it all out. I'm gonna bring the next row. Oh, we're almost done. Look, we're at the end. You're about to find out what you've always wanted to know. Yeah, you don't have to hold it. Let me get up there. Mm. You're about to find out what you've always wanted to know in your life. I wonder if the 15 pounds, I wonder if the material counts too. I wonder whose idea it was to use glass. Glass. Huh? Glass, yeah. That doesn't make any sense. Why are you repeating the word over and over? Mm. Is this one time use glass? I don't want to get anybody triggered. It's the one use of glass. What's the one use of it? This. this is yeah, there. This is the only use okay. of it. Okay. That's it. We got one more row. One more. Are you ready? And then we're, okay, we need a spoon. We need some way to scoop this stuff out of here now. 
Oh, mosquito. Yeah, I'm gonna grab it. Grab its leg. You know, if you can grab a mosquito with chopsticks, you can eat it. If you want to. Let's see, we already emptied the bladder on that one. Ooh. There's that side and that side now. It's the last one. That's it. Now we know. There is a mosquito flying around my head. I First, got it. Oh, almost got it. Fresh mosquito. Okay, we have a bucket. And we have a little duflachi. So we're gonna do it like this. We bring this all up here. Oh, we're losing it. We're losing it. We're losing so much. Is there a lot coming out down there? Yeah, a lot. Huh? Yes, there's oh, I got an idea. Hold on, I got a better idea. Here. Here, here, here. Just let it no no, put the bucket on the ground. Okay, go. I like where it's falling. That, well that's where it was. Is it going in there? Exactly going in there. Let's huh. just make it all go in that hole. If you want to be smart. That's what I'm going to do, Scooty. Well, Well, it's almost over. It's actually gotten dark in the time it's taken to sift a 15 pound weighted blanket, glass beads into this bucket. I think we'll call that it. Oh wait, there's still more falling. Don't go away. Okay, come on, get it. I got it, we're done. This game is over. So that's how much is in there. That's actually more than I thought. Give you an idea. So there you go. There you have it. Now you know. Just in case you wondered, get everybody together and let everybody watch this. It's very important. Facts of life. Thanks for watching my videos.